In health news tonight, a possible breakthrough in how scientists may someday find cures for diseases such as cancer and Alzheimer's. And it was created right here in Maine. While most other students on the Bates College campus were rushing off to class two years ago, few knew that what was going on in this science building could possibly mean they or their children won't have to deal with the ravages of two diseases. How huge is this? Yeah. Um, it's big for the field of epigenetics, it's big for cancer research, and it's big for the field of memory. Andrew Kennedy is an assistant professor of chemistry and biochemistry at Bates. And it was he and a team of students who came up with a molecule that essentially changes how certain cells behave. And what it does is it inhibits these three genes from functioning to control the rest of your genes. And in doing so can have implications in things like cancer progression and neuronal plasticity because it regulates how any cell utilizes its genes. The team calls it Bobcat 339, named after the Bates team mascot. And it started with an idea from one of Kennedy's students. Uh, Gabriella Chua came up with the idea for how to structure uh, this molecule. And then other students in the lab went in and synthesized it. It had never been made before. I mean, most molecules have never existed before. So we made it for the first time and we tested it and it actually worked, which is uh, the weird thing. Because I mean, usually, you have an idea in, in science and it doesn't work out the way you expect it to. The thinking is that Bobcat 339 could one day lead to therapeutic drugs that could really stop diseases in their tracks. Since Kennedy and his students published their paper earlier this year, about a dozen university labs across the country have called to ask if they can use the molecule to help in their cancer research. The college is allowing that, but it's also laying the groundwork to get a patent for Bobcat 339.